It's Monday, October 24th. I haven't vlogged in like two weeks. Um, last week I had my period and postpartum, my periods, I feel like this is a very common thing, but they've been really bad. Like just all of the symptoms, everything was so bad and I was just exhausted every single day. So there was literally nothing to show. It probably would have been like a really miserable vlog, honestly. But this week we're starting fresh. I'm gonna have a good day, a good week. Just did my makeup so I feel a little bit more put together. Although it is very crappy weather today. I was really hoping to take Lila on a nice outdoor walk, but it's raining and cold. She's just taking a nap. I'm sure she'll be up momentarily. And it's 10 o'clock, so. I have no clue what we're going to do today. Good morning. Hello. Hello, crazy hair. today. We're matching. Also, Lila was sick last week or was it the week before? I already like, I'm so confused. She had her first cold. I think it was two weeks ago. It was so sad. She was not sleeping well. And then last week she was teething so hard. She's still teething, but it's not as bad. But it was sad. She's so intrigued by the camera. Chelsea and James are having a Halloween party on Friday. So we talked about this on the podcast, but if you don't listen, I'm being a dark angel, which essentially is just an angel, but instead of wearing white stuff, I'm wearing black stuff. I got this dress on Amazon. It is so cute. It's like a backless dress halter style and you can like make the bow really big. It is adorable. I will link this below. This is like really nice and I think it was like $20. I got a large and it's definitely a little big but I think a medium would be too tight and way too short. This is very short. So I ordered tights cause I'm sure it'll be cold. And then I have like wings and you know, a halo and all that jazz. But I definitely need to either self tan or get a spray tan like Wednesday or Thursday because I'm shockingly pale and I think I'll just feel better about myself with a tan. I just paid some medical bills. I finally got my bill for having Lila from the hospital. I don't know why it took them forever. I'm shocked I didn't get it like the next day and I always see this on TikTok, like when you get a medical bill from the hospital, request an itemized bill because somehow like it always ends up being lower because I guess they take off some stuff that maybe you didn't actually get or whatever. So that's what I did. And then Lila had some bills, so I had to pay that. And Lila's watching some Elmo while I was doing that because I didn't want her uh, didn't want her screaming in the background. Over the weekend, Jesse and I went to the mall and we went to Crate and Barrel and we got this cocktail shaker. It's so cute. I don't know why we never had one. So we had like a full bar cart set up, but we don't have this. And I just think it looks so cute. There was something else, but I don't really remember what I wanted to say. So I'm going to make her a bottle and that's it. Crazy? Crazy bug? 
I'm making lunch right now. I wanted to do an H&M haul for Lila. They did send me this stuff. Well, they gave me like a credit to pick some stuff out and I'll make commission if you guys shop from the links below, but I'm not being paid to make the video, but just wanted to put that out there. But all this stuff is adorable. I mean, half my wardrobe's H&M anyway, so you know that. First, I got her these little booties for the winter. I think these will be so cute. The little ears. Then this hat, which I'm obsessed with. This is adorable. This onesie, which has like a little Peter Pan um, collar. And this is to go with this little overall set, which is bigger than I expected. I think I got it in nine to 12 months, not six to nine months. So I might exchange it for a smaller size, but this is adorable. If I'm able to exchange it for a smaller size, I definitely want her to wear this on Thanksgiving because how cute is that? This cardigan, which I would love in my size, it has little like dots, polka dots on the sleeves. Obsessed. I love this color scheme. It's like neutral, rosy, pink, but it's not like all brown. Then I got this sweater, this Christmas sweater. How adorable with the little reindeers and it has buttons on the back. This is also nine months, so it's a little bit bigger than I anticipated because I was thinking it was six to nine, not nine to 12, but that's my mistake. But either way, I mean, by Christmas, this will probably fit or just be a little big. Then what I'm so excited about is this coat. I love the pattern. It's a nice winter coat and the inside is pink. I just love this color scheme. I feel like all this stuff goes so well together and how cute would this be with this little bear hat? And the hood is detachable, so that's like good for the spring. Take it off. This will still fit her because it's nine to 12 months as well. And then some like casual wear. We got this long sleeve onesie that comes with matching leggings. I love these little sets. And then a set of long sleeve onesies. She's wearing one right now, it's just tan, but this one has little dogs on it. Then this one is just a plain rosy pink. And then the other one is tan. And these button all the way down, and at first I was like, okay, that's really annoying, but it's actually more convenient than the ones that zip from bottom up because you can just unbutton the ones down here to change the diaper. But if you have the ones that zipper from bottom up, you have to take their legs out. Lila's always kicking, so it's like a terror to get her legs back in. And this is also, I think, 9 to 12. I'm literally obsessed with all of this. I want like matching clothes to that, but they don't have them in my size. So I will link all those down below. Thanks to H&M for sending them to me. And it, yeah, if you guys use the code, I'll get a little commission. But obsessed. Right now I'm just making lunch, I'm making vegan frozen chicken tenders, and I'm having a little salad too, and, and I'm having a kombucha. Health queen. I just feel like last week I ate a lot of junk. So, trying to be a healthy queen, and I think for dinner I'm gonna make chicken pot pie casserole, and I'm just gonna kinda DIY this recipe myself, so I was looking at Pinterest and all of them have ingredients that like I really just don't have right now. But I do have like the main things that I need, so we're gonna try that out. I just got a surprise package. I don't know how, but I do want to thank whoever out there added me to the YSL Beauty PR list because that's amazing. But I just got this package. It's like a porcelain box. And Jessica Stockstill just got this, so I know what it is, but gorgeous packaging. It's their new perfume. Let's see what it smells like. 
Oh, this smells good. Mmm. I need a new perfume because all of my perfumes remind me of being pregnant and I cannot wear any of them except my Gucci, like the regular Gucci perfume. All the other ones, I have like another Dior, another Gucci. I can't wear any of them because they just remind me of how nauseous I was. So this smells delicious. This will be my new scent. Thank you so much, YSL. Like I really don't deserve this. Matches. YSL matches, wow. Fancy living over here, guys. Lila just woke up from another nap. I'm about to go in there, but she's been, well, we've been trying to get her to sleep in the crib. At night, she slept in the crib once. She slept in the crib once at night. Why are my sentences never correct? And it went okay, but she like woke up every other hour. So we didn't do that last night. She's been taking like 90% of her naps in her crib. I gave, gave her that one nap before on the bassinet just because she was being really fussy. So let's go see how she did. You turned around. How did you get like that? <laughs> how did you get like that, crazy? There you go. And yes, I did change my entire outfit so I went downstairs to clean again and I was just so sweaty I couldn't wear it anymore. So that's the new outfit. <sighs> it's like 3.30 almost. So I'll probably get started on dinner around 4.30. I'm really not sure how it's going to go. So um, backup dinner will have to be leftovers. But also I have to edit the podcast for Wednesday. So I'll probably do that now and that's pretty much it jesse's working downstairs so i'm just gonna take her down so she can see him for a little while or he can see her or both really dinner's in the oven and I cleaned up the kitchen mostly because I hate when you're done with dinner and the kitchen's a mess I didn't clean bottles today I don't care I'm not doing it and I'm trying to put Lila down for a nap but she's not doing it she's not happy but I had some of this hold on let me show you what it is Lily's cookies and cream chocolate it's just like the Hershey's cookies and cream bar but they make it with like stevia stevia and just like other fake sugars my stomach is in shambles i knew it was gonna hurt my stomach but I'm like, okay if i only have like half a serving it can't be that bad no my stomach is killing me so just hoping it goes away soon but hopefully dinner's good because i didn't follow any recipes and if it is then i'll tell you what i did Okay, here it is. It looks like slop. I haven't tasted it. Well, I tried it a little bit like when it was still in the oven and it's pretty good. So yeah, but it, I mean, it doesn't look appetizing, but it is good. was very good it took a lot longer to cook than i expected but i ended up covering the casserole dish with tin foil and then it cooked a lot faster all it was was um cut up chicken that i like kind of seared in the pan with paprika onion garlic powder salt pepper just so it was like cooked thoroughly on the outside and had like color to it i hate when chicken's just white to me like 
instantly I can't eat it. And then I combine that with a can of cream of chicken, half a can of cream of mushroom, mixed frozen vegetables, and frozen biscuits that I got from Whole Foods. And I just cooked it in the oven at 400 for like... 45 minutes or so and everything came out really good. I think next time I would use not frozen biscuits, just like ones in the can. I think it would cook a little faster then, but that's just what I had. And it was uh, very good actually, proud of myself. Adding a new recipe to my repertoire. Jessie's putting Lila to bed and now is my time to lay here and do nothing until 11 o'clock. You got me like in a box I adore everything you touch Say do you believe that we were meant to be Body craves identity Green mango peach, what a tease Calling me Like the rainbow Oh pretty please Good take morning. Care. Show everyone your cute outfit This is one of the outfits I showed yesterday from H&M It's a long sleeve onesie with pants And these little boots obsessed so cute i was just cleaning up the kitchen and i put on miss rachel for the first time i've never put it on for her before the only thing i've ever really put on for her is like hey bear that sensory show for babies and occasionally we'll just have like the berenstein bears or something playing in the background like while we're playing with her but she really likes miss rachel she's like smiling and laughing at it and I'm surprised. I don't know. I feel like she's so young to be able to like recognize what's going on on the TV, but I've heard nothing but rave reviews about Miss Rachel. I ordered groceries this morning. I, I do have to go to like Stop and Shop or ShopRite or something. I ordered food from Whole Foods because I need to get stuff for the Halloween party, like Jello, which I'm sure they don't have at Whole Foods, like Jello powder. Or if they do, it's just not as good. And like Frank's Red Hot, I need shredded chicken. So I have to go to the regular grocery store today. And once the fog clears, Lila and I are gonna go on a walk, but it's so foggy right now. I don't wanna be in the road. So she'll probably take her first nap first and then we'll do that. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully the sun comes out today because three days in a row of cloudy, Foggy, rainy weather is. Please take it easy. No one lies, push and shove. Let go of control. In under fallen treasured skies, I'm staring deep into your green eyes. Two is one, so we begin. Oh, I follow you till the end, my darling. Green mango peach, what a tease. Calling me like the rainbow. Oh, pretty, please take it easy. No one lies, push and shove, let go. It's now almost 12. Lila just woke up from her nap. It took her almost an hour to fall asleep. I was rocking her, put her in the swing for a little, put her back in her bassinet, back and forth, back and forth. She finally fell asleep for like 50 minutes. But I edited 
the podcast, I put on some makeup, and I just put the groceries away. Our fridge is really never like that exciting. Obviously I get coffee, we go through a ton of eggs, leftovers, seltzers of course, it's like my favorite, are these different types of beverages. Like these are so good, obviously seltzer. These are more so for Jesse. I don't really love these, but meat. I have to use this chicken today or it's gonna go bad. I get these bag salads. Jesse and I have a salad like almost every night. And then some peppers. I also got shaved Brussels sprouts. I thought of like frying them in a pan would be good with like rice and stuff. And then these are peppers from last week cheese for different things I'm going to make. None of this. Oh, I got more coffee. This is like my favorite because I feel like it's the strongest because it's concentrated. You don't have to water it down, but I do. But if I'm going to have something like this, like it definitely has to have espresso added into it or this would be like my second coffee of the day. But no way in hell could I drink that and it just, you know, be enough. And we always get like the same sort of dried goods. We always get these almonds. I get Jesse these gluten-free tates. I always get these pistachios. They're so good if you want something sweet or you want something like spicy. We always get these. I like chickpeas. Jesse doesn't like the plain ones as much, but the flavored ones are good. I always get popcorn, but we have enough bread. These are good with like cheese on it and like a little dressing or something. And then that's just more bread, so. Some sweet potatoes, onions, avocado, bananas. And then I just got like regular dry goods, rice, a few things, pasta. So the grocery shopping for us is done, except I did realize I didn't get butter, which we need. So when I go to the grocery store to get stuff for the party, I will get, I personally like never really use butter. I don't know, like when I'm cooking, I use olive oil. Nothing I've cooked really requires butter, I feel like. But Jesse uses butter a lot, so I have to get butter. I'm gonna try to give Lila her bottle, but before when she woke up and I tried to give it to her, she did not want it. You did not want the bottle. You did not want the baba. Why is that? Why is that? Say, do you believe that we were meant to be? My body craves identity. We're back. Pretty much all of this is for the party. Ritz crackers for the dip, and then I got these gluten-free ones for Chelsea. You need cheese for the buffalo chicken dip. You need buffalo sauce, canned chicken, and I know that sounds nasty, because it's like in a can, and it's chicken, but in the sauce, it's good. And then I got three things of cream cheese. I don't know how much I need, but I know it's a lot. Then I got some bread bowls. Um, at least two of these are gonna be for Friday, like one while I'm getting ready, one at the party. But they were just on sale, like three for five, so I got three. For the jello shots, of course, I got jello, red and orange, Halloween colors. Oh, and also for the buffalo sauce, you need ranch. Then I got liquid death water. I know, I have enough fucking beverages in the fridge, I can't stop. But these were on sale for a dollar each, and they're never on sale, and I've always wanted to like have one. You know, they're just, it's just canned water. One of them is sparkling, but I just feel like it would be nice. Also, like if you're trying to hide your pregnancy or something, I feel like this would be good to have at a party because it looks like a beer, but it's not, so. And then the other things that I got were some of these Gator lights. They're like Pedialyte, but made by Gatorade. They were on sale for, for like $4, so a dollar each. So we are deaf gonna need these because I cannot be hungover. That's 
that's everything. I don't know why like all of this vlog has been in the kitchen, but it has. I'm sweating, of course, and it's 1.30. I'm gonna try to put Lila down for a nap soon. Let's hope that goes better than last time. I'll catch up with you. Green mango peach water teas calling me like the rainbow. I just came up here to start uploading this footage to my computer and Lila is not happy. I'm gonna give her a bottle. Well, she took like a 50 minute nap. We really have to work on our naps becoming... Here. There. We really have to work on her naps becoming a little longer, but I don't really know how to do that. So I'm gonna start watching Real Girlfriends of Paris. That's on Bravo. Kind of looks interesting, I don't know, but I'm just kind of sick of Housewives right now. And I can't watch Summer House anymore. I need to take like a break from it because literally all they do, I talked about this on the podcast and I get it, it's the premise of the show, but literally all they do is like get drunk and party and fight and then like, talk about it the next day and then do the same thing Saturday night, talk about it Sunday and go like it repeats every episode. Cause you don't see like their work weeks and stuff. I would love to see their work weeks, like more of their normal lives, but they don't show that. They just show the weekends. And I don't know, it's like not that interesting to see people get drunk every day. N New York is my favorite, but like, you know, it's done. I might start Potomac next, cause I've heard that one is really good. Pretty much the best that's on right now, so maybe I'll watch that, but I'm gonna try Real Girlfriends of Paris. And what about you? If I make you a bottle, will you eat it? Because you didn't want your other bottle before. You only had three ounces. So if I make one, will you eat it? I literally have to feed her like this sometimes because she will not let me hold her and feed her. She just wants to sit here and eat her bottle. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just squatting on the floor. Back from our walk. I did a mile. 4.15, Jesse's on his way home. We might just do leftovers for dinner because honestly, guys, I really don't want to cook that chicken. It does have like two more days left, so I could always cook it tomorrow. Cause like the idea of having, I'd probably make like brown sugar chicken with like green beans and sweet potatoes. Like it just doesn't sound good. And we have two different types of leftovers we could have, so. And once Lila takes her, evening nap, which I don't even know. She's only taken two naps today and they were very short. I'm gonna go edit my video, but I don't know when that's gonna be.